This may look a little brutal and not the first thing you'd associate with active conservation, but careful felling can really help our butterflies and wildlife. Some of our most threatened species need specially managed habitats to help them to thrive. Here, at Butterfly Conservation's Olners Gorse Reserve in the Rowland Dorset countryside, volunteers are busy beating away the winter chill by preparing the ideal living quarters for a very special butterfly. The marsh fertility, with its unique colourful wing pattern, can lay claim to being one of our most beautiful butterflies. Sadly, the chance of even seeing this butterfly is becoming an increasingly rare occurrence. The caterpillars are jet black, the dark colour helping them to absorb the sun's heat on chilly spring days. But transforming the open patches of Ulner's Gorse to suitable marsh fertility habitat is a tough job. Throughout the winter, an army of volunteers and the occasional horse cut back scrub and coppice trees to make sure the vital structure of the meadow is maintained. Well the reason we have to manage nature reserves is because uh, nature changes regularly and different species need different conditions. So there are butterflies that live in grassland, butterflies that live in woodland, uh, wildlife that live in scrub uh, and different structures of vegetation. And we need to manage it so that we favour one of those types of, of habitat for different species. And most of our reserves we're looking at actually at maintaining a range of different habitats to manage for a range of different butterflies and moths and the other wildlife that lives there. This type of conservation not only helps the marsh fertility, but also encourages other butterflies to thrive, like this green hair streak. And it's not just butterflies. Nightingales. Adders. and other insects, all call Olner's Gorse home. We can save rare species like the marsh fertility. Visit Butterfly Conservation to find out how.